I don't like to start trying to red point the route until I think there's um, a fairly good chance that I could succeed at the route on the route. I don't know if other people have a different approach to that, but that's just the way I go. I don't really think, feel that there's any point in starting trying to red point the route until I know I can do it. Having said that, you know, you can work on a route a hell of a lot. You can do lots of really good links and be feeling really good on the route. And then when you and you decide, right, I'm ready to go to for red point, and you start trying to red point, you do learn new things about the route. So you know, certainly on the really hard red points, uh, routes of you know at the absolute limit, I think I think you'll start trying to red point it, and then go back to working it, then go back to red pointing it, go back to working it, and it's just a sort of ongoing process, just sort of assessing where you are. So having a, a prolonged um, period of time where you're trying to red point the route, you know, is incredibly stressful. So I like to get myself ready to sort of red, try and red point the route and then give myself like, you know, a number of weeks. Mentally, if you're trying to red point for, you know, I don't know, six weeks or something, <laughs> that's just, you know, going to be horrendous. And also physically as well, you know, once you, when you spend, you know, a lot of time on the route, you're going to get to a point where you're, you're basically overtrained on the route um, and you're, just, you're going to start to get weaker, more tired. I mean, you'll probably have noticed when you first start working a route, you'll notice a lot of gains really quickly, both in sort of your strength and your fitness. You know, this is partly because you're getting more familiar with the route, but it's also because you're getting, um, you're getting a really good training effect uh, from that route. So you, you are also getting stronger and fitter. But just like training indoors, you're going to get, get to a point where you're overtrained on the route, you're losing that training benefit and you're going to go downhill. And so I think that's one reason why you need to set some sort of time limit for blocks of attempts on that route, otherwise you're just going to get mentally and physically burnt out. I think it's great also from a well, from a mental and from a physical point of view, as well as this sort of really big red point project that you've got, have some other stuff on the go at the same time. You know, variety is really key, I think, in climbing and training. If you can have some other easier red points projects on the go, maybe at different crags and stuff, that gives you a break from your main goal. You get some new training benefit from going on these new projects that are on a different crag and maybe have sort of different demands on the body. And also, if those routes are slightly easier, you know, you might get some quick ticks. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, I think hard red pointing, it all comes down to confidence. You know, if you feel confident, you're going to have a much bigger chance of success. You know, I can think of a few occasions. One was when I did three 8B pluses at Butte, the Raja, the Minimum and the Spectra, which were, you know, probably the hardest routes in the world at the time. I did those three 8B pluses in like an eight day period. I was coming from a really low level because I'd just broken my wrist. I think I'd been out of climbing for a few months and stuff and we wanted to just go away and um, you know get some fitness. And you know I just started doing routes, easier routes, getting my fitness back. Then I started working those three routes and I would just alternate. And um, you know at the end of six weeks I knocked off one route and then a few days later knocked off the other one and then a few days later knocked off the other one and it was all about confidence you know once you get on a roll you know you just feel unstoppable when you're working a route i think it's really important to conserve energy now that might sound kind of strange but um, from a training perspective and from like a learning perspective on the route your goal is to get as ma the maximum amount of time on that route as possible, you know, in, in a given sort of time period, whether that's like a day or, or, or whatever. You know, the more energy you conserve when you're working the route, the more you can work the route. I mean, you're going to get, you're going to be exhausted at the end of the day, but you just want to have, you want to spend as much possible time working those moves as possible. Nothing depletes your energy more than going to failure. Um, it just absolutely kills the body. So I try and avoid going to failure when I'm working the route. I always like to try and do a sequence of moves and then stop before I fall off. Uh, I think a lot of people, they're tempted to sort of work a sequence of moves. They get through this sequence of moves and they think, oh yeah, I'll just keep going, see how far I can get. And then they just keep climbing until they fall off, you know, and they're absolutely blasted. And 
doesn't really serve any purpose. It just tires them out more and means they can't work the route as much. I'm really just trying to emphasize that when you work in a route, think about conserving energy. It's much better to do sort of short links than a few big long links. When you're getting close to the point where you're gonna try and red point the route, then it is important to do longer links and you probably would want to go to failure a few times. But in the early stages, I would say avoid going to failure. Five 20 minute sessions are better than two 40 minute sessions. And also, yeah, remember when you're working a route, you don't need to work the whole route in one go. You can just work sections of the route and then come back down to the ground, go and be there your friend or whatever. You don't need to bolt to bolt the whole route.